close your eyes and take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. And see if you can stay with the sensation of breathing all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Try to find what rhythm, texture of breathing feels good for the body right now. Long or short, fast or slow, heavy or light, deep or shallow. Because the breath is the force of life, and it stands to reason that if the breath feels good, then it's going to be good for the body, and when the body is soothed in the present moment, energized in the present moment, then the mind is going to be happy to stay. And when the mind can stay in the present, then it can watch itself and can see what it's doing, because the mind is the author of our lives. In other words, it's through our thoughts and our words and our deeds that we shape our lives. So you want to make sure that you're shaping them well. Otherwise, you're off someplace else and they're doing the work on automatic pilot. You can't really trust them. Sometimes they do skillful things and sometimes unskillful things. But it's much more likely while you're here you can see things happening and gain a sense of what kind of intentions you're acting on and whether they're things that you really should be acting on or not. What kind of life will they shape for you? Because as the Buddha said, the beginning of wisdom is when you ask, what when I do it will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness? But when I do it, will lead to my long-term harm and suffering. You want to think of the long-term. The long-term, of course, has to do with your intention. So you want to watch your intentions to make sure that they lead to a happiness that's going to last, and not a happiness that's going to be with you for a little while and then run away. So it's good to be right here. Put down your thoughts of the past. Put down your thoughts of the future. Just be right here and see what's coming up. And then you can choose clearly. Because the breath puts you in a good position where it's comfortable and you feel at ease. You're not so hungry to run after just the little pleasures for right now. There's a sense of well-being inside. Because you're going to find as you try to stay with the breath that the mind has a tendency to wander off. We have to learn how to just keep coming back, coming back, coming back, and rewarding yourself with a good breath each time you come back so the mind is more and more inclined to want to stay here. To say that, yes, this really is a good place to stay. The more steadily you are here, the more, the more clearly you can see what's going on in the mind, and the more effective you can be in shaping your life in a good direction. It all starts right here, so make sure that right here is a good place. So the things that come out of right here are things that you've chosen well. <laughs>